we will be using X360 with a DualShock 4 controller, also known as wireless controller because it's not original, and also the lovely generic USB gamepad with many names, but I'll list them in the description. Brothers and sisters, I'm here to show you that this still works and also to clarify some new details and info we gathered with many responses from each and every single one of you. Without delays, make sure you don't skip the video at any point because I'm going to be saying many important information you should know about this controller emulator after heavy testing and research from the team. I assume you have come across these videos once or twice by now and I recommend watching them as I'm only going to be throwing more light on this topic and you will barely understand this video if you skip those videos. Links for everything you need is provided in the description and I really apologize for the delay of bringing this video to you guys. Just as I explained in my previous videos, download the controller emulator software with the link in the description or easily navigate to our website and click the download link. The ads on the site help support the channel. Please bear with us. Once you have gotten to this point, download X360 version for all games. Do not download the other versions. Make sure you download exactly this version which is the latest version of the software. There are more users of X360 day by day and this means that this still works till now that you are watching this video and till the future. Once you have downloaded the software and followed the steps provided in previous videos, we can then move on to the next step. If you are having issues choosing a controller to purchase or looking for recommendations, this site will provide you with all the info you need to know about controllers, joysticks, steering wheels, basically anything used to play video games on a PC. Also, if you navigate to the top left corner here, you can find a section called Top Games where you will see the most controller emulated games if that makes sense. All these games listed here fully support controller emulation and this might be a reassuring piece of info for some people out there. So I decided to pick one of the top games here, which is Grand Theft Auto 5. We will be using the two controllers shown earlier in this video and emulating them to see if they work and also prove some new points that every single one of you are missing out so stick till the entirety of the video to make sure you don't miss a detail. Also if you head back to that top corner once again and click on top devices, you can see the most emulated controllers, meaning every single one of these controllers and more not shown on the list are very much perfect to use. Controllers that don't work with X360 barely exist, majority of controllers and completely good for this. Now we are here on my desktop and on the left is the lovely GTA 5. Can't wait to get GTA 6. It's been years Rockstar Games. And on the right here is the emulation software and I assume by now you understand the basics of this software. So, as you can see in my game settings here, it detects an original Xbox controller instead of the wireless controller actually used in this instance. Let's get into the game and start a little nice gaming session with this controller and see if there are any drawbacks here. My computer is going to be quite laggy here as I'm using intensive softwares. This is not a gameplay. It's just a preview and sample to show you guys. So while you watch the gameplay, I'll talk about some important info in about a minute or so. The first thing you should do before trying to emulate a game is to actually make sure the game has controller support. Yes, some games don't support controllers. Games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 and 2, Valorant, CSGO, and many other games out there not mentioned here do not have controller support so. Make sure you have verified this by simply going to Google and making a little research about the game you want to use a controller for. Many people get this idea wrong and think maybe they didn't follow the steps correctly or maybe their controller is faulty. Another thing is you should make sure the issues tab in X360 software is clear meaning there is no issue with your installation. Alright as you can see, 
I played this game in different scenarios with this controller wirelessly, plugged in and not plugged in and there is no issue except one thing, vibration, X360 is not capable of pushing the vibration motors when the game instructs the controller to, meaning, you should really not keep your hopes high for vibration. Although I should tell you guys something, I played Among Us without the emulation software and it worked flawlessly, flawlessly as in the vibration was on point. The surprising thing that swept me off my feet was the fact that the light bar on the controller would blink red multiple times anytime you got killed or made a kill in Among Us. Like the developers had this controller in mind while creating this game which is very good. Sadly the only way to enjoy native controller and vibration support is getting the early original Xbox 360 controller that Microsoft specifically installed drivers and compatibility functions on Windows which explains the reason why X360 helps us use different kind of controllers to make games and windows itself yes windows itself thinks the emulated controller is the original controller made for windows which is something i think everyone emulating a controller should keep in mind if your game does not work with the controller emulation go to windows settings and try using the controller to know if you're on the safe side and the game is the issue and not your emulation these are tricks I use till today to ensure my controller is working and emulated all good. So guys, now we have tested the wireless controller. We are going forward to test the generic USB gamepad. I really wish I could give you guys a hand cam, but maybe in future videos, we will do that. As I said earlier, make sure the issues tab is clear and there is no error here. It should be as clean as mine. Make sure your game options menu is the stock settings. Do not tamper with these settings. If you had, pause this video and copy mine now. I'm just going to easily add this controller. As you can see there is a little confusion here. The emulator knows this is a kind of a twin USB controller build, but it's actually just a single controller. So I'll try adding each of them to see which works. So I have found the right device here which is the generic USB gamepad. I'm going to map the keys under controller 1 so we can easily use both gamepads to do the second test and of course, there should be no issues with this. I'm going to boot up the game now. Man, I'm drunk. But I ain't getting drunk. At this point, I was basically having fun. The both controllers worked effortlessly, no issues or errors. Now let's answer some frequently asked questions while the gameplay goes on. First question is, I hope I won't download any viruses and my answer is, the source of this file is clean and 100% safe, you are safe with software, I can assure you that. Second question says, can I control a throttle like a steering? Yes, if you mean using a steering wheel and throttle as a controller for your racing games and flight simulators, yes, you totally can, knock yourself out. Another question is can I make use of two pads, like locally play against someone else? Well of course you can, as a matter of fact I play with my little brother with a twin USB gamepad, so you're good to go as far as the game you're playing has controller support, hopefully it's a sports title. Alright the next question says, do third party pro controllers not work for this? The answer is, if I understand you quite right, you said a pro controller, I'm guessing the Xbox Elite Series controllers grade of controllers, or Logitech, Razer controllers? I don't really know, but I'm sure majority of those controllers work effortlessly. Alright, on to the next question. 
This is just a wrong perception of what a controller emulator is. A controller emulator is there to help you only when a game has controller support for Xbox controllers and you don't have an Xbox controller at that time and looking to make your controller work for that particular game that requires a supported Xbox controller. This has completely nothing to do with a keyboard and mouse or keybinds if I'm correct, but at least there are softwares that do that. Pretty well, like ReWISD software. Let me know if you guys want a video on that. This is a common issue many people encounter. This happens when the game itself recognizes your controller without X360 and also you go ahead to emulate it making your input double. How to fix this issue? Yes, you can. There is a software called Hit Hide where it hides the original input of your controller and then the emulated input works simultaneously while the original input is hidden away from your game. For more help on this just come to the Discord community where I answer almost every question as I can and hopefully you can fix all your issues and have a great gaming session. Someone said not working for Steam games, um, this is more complicated because you just made it complicated. Steam is a client for your games not an emulator or launcher for your games. Once you've installed your games and you have correctly emulated your controller, it should work flawlessly because I personally use the emulator to play Brawlhalla in which I previewed in the previous videos about this topic, so this is an invalid question. Now, let me explain this one more time. Using an Xbox controller with this software goes more deep to complication. You are using this software because it assumes you do not own an Xbox controller. So that means, do not use this software to emulate a controller that you already have. Then here is the complication. Some new Xbox controllers do not work for older games that have only controller support for only the Xbox 360 controller. That is only when you should use this software, you. We'll need to do some research and find out if the game supports newer Xbox controllers, but if not, then you can go ahead and use your newer Xbox controller with this software. But if you have the old original Xbox 360 controller, this software is not for you. Please understand this. Alright guys, we're about to wrap up this video so we don't take much time here. I know some of you still have issues using this software and I really understand your pain. But I am always here to help, and this is not something everyone will say on YouTube, but I will. Do not drop a comment or question here. Bring all your questions, ideas, anything at all. Bring it to the Discord community where I will answer every single one of your questions. The team is ready and active to answer your questions. It's so free you can tag me on our Discord server and I will be at your disposal. Don't flood the comments. Be different from everyone and come to the Discord server. This will help reduce bots from humans in the comment section. I plead with you all my brothers and sisters. If there is anything you want me to explain in a video, do well to inform me in the comments, but bring all the questions to Discord as I said. I really love all of you watching these videos. Thanks for being with this channel for as long as you did. I will always be here to help you guys. I'll be making a new video about X output, which is an alternative for X360. Stay tuned my dear friends, as always respect your parents, be happy and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.